No Man's Sky. Is it worth a buy yet? No, it's not. But I'm doing a part two. The reason I'm doing a part two, guys, is simple. This is the most hyped game that I've ever known in my life. People were kind of shitting themselves on Friday when it launched. And I got, when I launched my video to say, hey, look, I'll be reviewing it on Monday, the amount of mail I got from people saying, no, Mac, I can't wait till Monday. I want to buy this game. It's just, the money's burning my hands. I need to buy it. It looks fucking great. Mac, help me. That's why I released a quick video on Saturday saying, this is what you're going to get if you buy it. Be careful. So that was kind of like the safety net. And a lot of people saved a lot of money because of that. But here's the rest of that video now because I've been playing the shit out of this on Sunday. Played it, played loads, discovered shit loads more of the same stuff. So let's get straight into it, guys. Let's get straight into it. I've actually, thankfully, found what this game is and who it will appeal to and everything. So, you know, I've saved you now. You're going to know. You're going to know everything now, guys. What you need to know is this. You need to go into a big children's store, like Toys R Us, you know, and you need to go to the pre-school section in there you will find laptops guys you know the kind of laptops the bright colored ones bright red and they'll have the the keys these big chunky yellow keys and then there'll be like a uh, you, you press them and you press the c and it'll go c for cow you know press b bah. see so you get the idea it's a children's laptop that's right and you know, they're great because you've got your laptop, you might have your Alienware, you know, at home playing your games, and your son or daughter comes along with their little laptop and say, Hi Dad, I'm on my laptop too. <laughs> and you say, F off, I'm playing. But Dad, what? Mm. Will you get rid of him? I'm trying to fucking play Lee Dangerous Man. Go and see what your mum's doing, she's cooking. Go and disrupt that cook and throw flour all over the floor and shit. See guys, No Man's Sky is that little toy laptop. Elite Dangerous is your Alienware top of the range laptop. Are you, are you, are you? Good, you're with us now. You're thinking, ah right, I get it, I get it. You see, yeah, yeah, you get it, you get it guys, there you go. See guys, let me explain. In Elite Dangerous, you can crash. You can crash into your planet and boom wrecked totally wrecked in no man's sky you can't i went maximum warp guys from space straight through the ozone layer <coughs> just at impact it gently arced away i didn't do it it just took over and just arced me away Meh. <coughs> what about when you die then what about when you die Let's see, I've just mined a shitload of rare stuff from a planet. Because when you mine rare stuff in this game, you pretty much automatically get attacked by pirates. So, you've took off from your planet, you're heading to a space station. Uh-oh, been attacked, dead. So let's look at space combat and death. Space combat, right. Uh, well, you've got your blasters and a beam weapon. Or oh, is that it? Uh, yeah? What else do you want? Well, Elite has lots of different countermeasures, jamming, it has beams, it has pulse, it has gimbaled, it has ungimbled, it has missiles, torpedo, it has f***ing shitloads, it has, that's not to mention the power management on your shields, setting your shields to different areas of your ship. It's a full f***ing simulator when you're in combat. What's No Man's Sky? Well, it's a bah. So you're probably going to die then. Yes. So what happens when you die? Well, in Elite, when you die, you're pretty, you're fucked, basically. You lose your shit. You lose your shit. But in No Man's Sky, it's like, nah, it's all right. I know you died, Mac. There's your shit back. It's got a little scratch on it. It's got a little scratch on it. What, I, I don't need to shell out thousands and thousands and millions of credits for insurance? No, no. Insurance, that's for elite, man. That's for a proper game. This, there's your shit back. But it just got blown up. Yeah. Just made a new one. Nothing. There you go. Oh, okay, thanks. But what about all my precious cargo? Well, see that waypoint there? Just follow that. What, that waypoint that's only like 20 seconds away? Yeah, yeah, go on, follow it. See what's at the end. See what's at the end of the rainbow. You get there, guys? All your stuff. The pirates didn't take it. Just left it. Just left all your stuff. Everything. Everything's there, guys. Oh, huh. brilliant. 
Thanks. Mm. What about trading then? What about trading? Let's have a look at trading. Trading. Elite trading. Let's look at elite. Elite, you have all these different planets that have different economic systems which tell you that certain things are going to be expensive certain things are going to be cheaper depending on what's made on the planet as it will factor how much things actually cost so you've got all of that you've also got rare trade runs you've also got a black market for illegal stuff slaves narcotics and things like that you also have special ships that is designed specifically for trading that you can save up for and buy with massive cargo holds and essentially trading in elite is a full-time profession it's just so deep it's it's amazingly good it, it really is good trading in elite because you've also got the pvp mechanics in there where you can get your ass handed to you and all your trading stuff stolen um what about no man's sky then well find a landing pad with a building on the planet make sure there's a trader in it run into the nearest cave mine the f out of the plutonium bring it back in 100 yards away sell it for about 100 grand or better still stand on the platform wait for a trade ship to land and then if you look behind them there'll be some boxes loot the boxes sell them the contents of the stuff in the box mm -hmm. unbelievable guys people are comparing this to elite what about ships what about ships well in elite dangerous you can own multiple ships you can have them stored in ports all over the galaxy you get money when you sell your ships. There is a whole shitload of ships. There is haulers. There is big, big, big capital ships. There is little fighters. There is multi-crew ships. There's all kinds of shit in ships. No Man's Sky. You just walk up to someone and say, Hey, that's a nice ship. Can I buy it off of you? How much do you want? I have a million credits. Okay, there you go. Then you just leave them stranded. Do I get anything for my ship? No. What, what, but my ship's worth a lot of money. Well, no, you don't get anything. You can't sell your ship. No, it just vanishes mm. so, you, so you see what I'm saying guys it's No Man's Sky is that toy laptop it's it's the toy laptop guys compared to a game like Elite Dangerous and don't get me wrong I absolutely annihilated Elite Dangerous Horizons but you can't argue with the fact that Elite Dangerous base game is a zillion times better than this will ever be guys essentially what you do is you do the same thing over and over again and i'm going to give you a quick rundown of what that is so you you go to a planet you then need to learn the language and you'll find different spheres on this like cylinders on this the glowing next to temples and stuff and if you walk up to that you will learn one word of a specific race and there's only four races that i'm aware of and you'll walk up to one that'll say you've learned the word hype hmm. You walk up to another one and say, you've learned the word multiplayer. Then you walk up to another one and it's like, you've learned the word lies. And so on and so forth. So you learn all these words. And then when you meet an NPC, and you meet NPCs because they're always locked in these um, research facilities. You, you blast the door down with your gun, go inside and there'll be an NPC standing there. He doesn't move or anything, he just stands there going, Rrrr. That's all he does. And you'll walk up to him and he'll go dak 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 multiplayer dak 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 lies dak 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 high dak 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 tosser. And you then because you learnt them words, you will know a little bit about what he's asking you. And then there'll be a question attached to that. It'll say, which game said there's gonna be multiplayer so that everybody will buy it, but the day before launch the tweet and say oh by the way there's no multiplayer arf arf and then there'll be three answers there'll be sky man's no no man's lies or no man's sky and you pick the you pick the one that you think's right and you'll get a reward you get a reward that's it that's the interaction with the npc that's why you learn the words guys of the language the words the words the words that's why you fly all over the f***ing planet looking for these words guys that's why you do it and of course that's why you mine so you can do it so you can have a spaceship to do that bear in mind if you want to make money you need inventory slots guys you need inventory slots now i cried a lot about the fact that you only got nine inventory slots in a game that's all about filling your inventory to make money so i learned i learned some very valuable lessons if you ever see this red beam of light flying up into the sky pointing up into the sky go there make a bypass chip and say i'm looking for a shelter and it'll go 
you're not really looking for a shelter are you Mac? No, I'm not actually. I'm not actually looking for a shelter at all. I'm looking for another another bit of uh, inventory space. Ah, don't worry. We call it shelters around here because the authorities don't like the word inventory slot. But yeah, just over there, Mac. There's a shelter just over that hill. Which hill? That hill? No, no, that hill there. But they all look the same. Yeah, because it's procedurally generated hills, you know. Over there, two minutes away. There you go, Mac. So you take off, fly over, land next to this Warhammer drop pod. And you walk inside, and guess what, guys? For 10,000 credits, you get an extra slot in your inventory. So you think, right, I'm going to fly back to the red thing. But you can't, because you, where is it? You can't mark anything. There's no waypoints. There's no, you know, it's all procedurally generated. No, okay, I'll just fly around till I see another red thing. Ah, there's a one there. Land, make a bypass chip. Hey, excuse me, do you know where there's a <clears throat> shelter around here? Oh, you want a shelter? <coughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Yeah, there's one just over that hill there, there, Mac. Ah, cheers, mate. So you take off, you land, Warhammer drop pod, walk inside, guess what? Exosuit upgrade, another inventory slot, 20,000 credits. Sorry? 20,000 credits? Well, no, no, 10,000 credits. No, no, 20,000 now. Hang on a minute, I just bought one 30 seconds ago, 10 fucking grand. Talking about. No, it's 20 grand. Oh, okay, all right, all right. So you take off, yeah. Fly around looking for another red thing, make a bypass chip. Um, got any uh, shelter locations? <coughs> you know. <coughs> yeah, yeah, Mac. Just around that corner there, over that hill. Watch out for the 16 aid Magadag. You know, it's not very friendly. And you'll find one just there. Ah, thanks. So, yeah. Take off, fly over, drop next to the Warhammer pod. Walk inside. And he's right. There you go. Another inventory slot. 30,000 credits. What? 30,000 credits now? It was fing 20 before. Yeah, but do you not know the economics of this game? The economics of this game, I'll explain. If something costs a base value of 10, every time you buy that slot, it adds another 10. Ah, right. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, guys, because whenever I go to the butchers and I buy a leg of lamb, all right, Alf. Yeah, all right, Mac, leg of lamb. Yeah, leg of lamb. There you go, Mac, look at that. Look at that, fucker. 20 pound. Cheers, the Alf. Next week. All right, Alf, same as usual, Mac. Yeah, like a lamb, 40 pound Mac. What the f Yeah, makes perfect sense, guys. So what's my conclusion then? Here it is, guys. Here's my conclusion to this game. I discovered something rather, rather on Sunday. I was lying. Sorry, I keep thinking I'm Sean Murray. I was lying, lying, lying. Oh, just a sec, guys. I'm just going to have a lie down for this last bit. I'm just going to relax. I'm just going to shut my eyes. Bring my mic over. Just shut your eyes back. Lie down. Just have a nice lie. Lie, lie, lie. I like lying down, guys. I know lots of people who like lying. Hey, Sean. Sean. Sean Murray. Who, you know, is in charge of No Man's Sky. Do you like lying down? Do you? I bet you love lying down, Sean. Is that right, Sean? Did you have a good lie there, did you, Sean? Nice lie. I bet you have lots of lie-ins, Sean. Oh, yeah. Bet you do. Bet you do. I bet he does, guys. Yeah. See, guys, on Sunday, at around about 3.33 p.m., I was playing this game and, you know, and I just kind of thought, you know what, I'm chilled. I'm rather chilled. I'm quite chilled out. Just lying back in my chair. I can't crash. I'm not going to crash, am I? Just lying back in my chair, guys. My wife walked in with a cup of tea. Says, there you go, Mac. I wasn't looking at the game, I was looking at the cup of tea, you know. And I thought, I'm not going to crash into a mountain. You know, nothing's going to happen. I'm not going to miss anything. Put the cup of tea down, so relaxed. Oh, I think I'll land. Just quickly press the use key. Wasn't even looking at my screen. I could have landed anywhere. But I know the game won't land me in a dangerous place. It'll just land me just right. And wherever I land, I'm near resources, so I can always take off again, you know. No sweat. Just you chill out then. Lie back. It's a game for lying, guys. It is perfect for lying, this game. It is unbelievably for lying. And that's when I realised, guys. That's when I realised the market for this game. If you want a game, guys, that's built on lies, that's absolutely built on lying down, lies down, built on lies down, you can just lie back, just lie back and play. You know, no consequences for death. You know, it's all just 
whenever, you know, doesn't matter. Log off here, it doesn't matter. Just log off here, it's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. You just lie back and rake in the money. Just lie back and rake in the money. Just lie back and rake in the money. Just lie, lie, lie back and rake in the money. Lie back and rake in the money. And lie back and rake in the money. And lie, 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 lie back and rake in the money. And lie, la, 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 lie, la, 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 lie, lie, la, la. You know what's ironic? I reviewed Abzu and hated it. But people said, Mac, it's a relaxing game of exploration. No, no, no. This is a relaxing game of exploration, not Abzu. Abzu's a pile of shit. This is a bigger pile of shit. It's a 40 pound lying machine. That's what it is. No, I'm not talking about Sean Murray. I'm talking about No Man's Sky. It's for lying back in your chair. That's what it's all about, guys. Just lying back and enjoying the immersion of a six-eared sheep. Just lie back, put your tunes on and just lie back, guys. That's all you gotta do. So if you want a game that is just so relaxing that you can just, you know, then I have to say it's still not worth a buy because it's 40 pound. But when it comes down in the sales, and it will, and it will, consider that because it does have a place. It does have a place in your library. This is the kind of game when you want to see everything that's wrong with the gaming industry, when you want to see what's wrong with corruption, when you want to know what it's like to have no integrity, this is the game you need to pick up and look at. Then watch all the videos from E3 2014, E3 2015, watch all the interviews, watch all the lying down, and you will know that you got done.